Welcome to Chamber of Change, a TV show. My name is Tim Murray, President and CEO of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. And Chamber of Change, a TV show, is brought to you by our sponsors, Bank Hometown, uh, as well as the Worcester Realers Hockey Club, who have begun their season. Uh, so we want to thank our sponsors for making the show happen, which is about issues of economic development uh, and featuring many of the companies and organizations that make the region's economy tick. And there's no organization or business for that matter, that does more and helps make the economy of the region tick than Fallon Health. And thrilled to have with us Deb Davio, who is the uh, Fallon Vice President of Medicare and the Executive Director of the organization's Navicare program. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me today. So if somebody watching the show, for some reason, is not <laughs> aware of Fallon Health, maybe you could just tell uh, our viewers a little bit about what Fallon Health is all about. Oh, Fallon Health is... Uh, such a great organization. We've been around since 1977. Um, we are deeply rooted in the Worcester community. As you know, our offices are located right here in Worcester. Local-based company, not-for-profit, uh, really care about our member and their experience, and um, so happy to be here today to talk about that. And, and Fallon, I think Fallon Health companies, Fallon Health and some of its affiliates just in the region, probably employing Close to a thousand people, over a thousand people. That's right. So, That's right. Uh, not only a huge employer, uh, but also providing important care to, to, to people uh, right. in the region and throughout the state. Um, but we, we want to get into a, a big, an important piece of, of the work that Fallon Health does. And uh, the certain times a year when people are in health insurance or companies are in health insurance, they've got to do enrollments and make selections of health care providers, plans. One of those things is, uh, is the Medicare annual election period, and we're kind of at that uh, time frame right we now. We certainly are. Medicare AAP, right, comes around every year um, quicker sometimes <laughs> than we expect. So this is a time for uh, beneficiaries to think about making changes, looking at their design. So all of the health plans in the area put out their new plans, so in this case for 2022. Beneficiaries, um, annual election period starts October 15th, runs through December 7th, so we're right in the middle of that right now. Um, it, it can really be a confusing time for people, and I say that because people get bombarded with information because mm -hmm. we're putting out information about our health plan, right? So you're getting um, direct mail, sometimes you're seeing a lot of those TV ads out there, and it can be confusing, and we're here really as the local expert to really walk people through making the annual election period easier, going through uh, different plan designs and making sure that people are making the right selection for them. You know, and, and during the nearly two years that we've been grappling with the COVID-19 pandemic, I think it's really underscored the importance of local on lots of different levels. And so, you know, what, 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 you know, being a locally based company, but what do the members get, you know, when they choose Fallon? Um, so Fallon, again, not only just local, but we're also a very trusted, uh, um, a, a trusted health plan as well as experienced. And what I mean by that is um, we have, as I said, been around since 1977 and we're one of the first Medicare Advantage plans mm -hmm. in the country. So 40 years and strong. Um, and we also have unbiased and, um, sorry, um, unbiased uh, feedback such as U.S. News and World Reports right. just named us the one of the top health plans in the state and the country. That's a big deal. And, and, and you mentioned, you know, as, as a measure, that is somebody that comes in, they don't have a dog in the fight, unbiased in the sense they do analyze and make decisions on, on health care plans, college and universities, a whole, uh, it's a very well-trusted yeah. uh, yes. entity. Absolutely. And so really to have that endorsement, and not just that, but we're also a four and a half star. Uh, which is awarded by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, CMS. And that is another accolade that we take very, uh, we are very proud about. And we know that the you know, uh, world of healthcare and, and healthcare insurance is rapidly changing demands, uh, meeting customers' needs. Are there elements of, of the plan in 2022 that you're showcasing or tweaks that have been made that people should be aware of? Yeah, we, we have. Um, a lot of plans for people to choose, right? It's it's really about making those decisions. So our Fallon Medicare Plus plan, which is statewide. So we go from the Berkshires to Boston. Mm -hmm. We go from the 
uh, North Shore to the Cape, um, and that network is, again, statewide, including UMass Memorial Hospitals and the physicians. We also have our central network, um, if people want um, a different, uh, smaller network, mm -hmm. and that includes all of our Reliant physicians, St. V's, some of the Steward Hospital and physicians, and again, both plans, thousands of providers um, in the network, and people really want to make decisions about their plans um, looking at the network piece. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, we have um, a really great benefit that I'd love to talk about. It's called the Benefit Bank. This is a uh, card that is loaded with dollars, depending on the plan that a member chooses, and they can use it for dental care, eyewear, vision, hearing aids. And what I love about the card is the flexibility of it. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd love to give an example of that. If somebody um, has to go and buy a pair of glasses, we already have on some of our plans a $150 vision benefit. Mm -hmm. They can use first that benefit to pay for the glasses. But if the glasses are $200, they can use that additional $50 to right. pay the remaining and then they have no out-of-pocket expense. And so that, that card is um, very flexible. It ranges in dollars depending on what plan people choose. Um, and then the last thing which we've uh, introduced for 2022 is an over-the-counter card and uh, also known as an OTC card. Uh, people refer to it as. And we uh, will preload $25 a calendar quarter onto the card. Um, and it's through Nations OTC, and people can buy healthcare items um, uh, through a catalog or online shopping and things that they normally would have paid for out of their pocket. Right, right. So it sounds like some new flexibility, some, some new benefits, and uh, having those options uh, in, in terms of networks that are really important in terms of relationships that people may have with existing doctors, et cetera. There's a lot of things to navigate here or questions, and, and you also can assist people as they want to figure out a plan that's best for them. And, and, and you have a, a, a way that people, if they have questions, you can help them and, and, and guide them. Yeah, we have uh, local experts back at the site, at, back at the plan, and really there are a couple of ways that people can get in touch with us. We do uh, virtual presentations. Uh, in light of COVID, right? right? That's something that we started and continue. But we also do statewide presentations and people can find those on our website. And we also have an 800 number people can call. We want to make sure that we're simplifying things for people, right? There's a lot of decisions to be made and we wanna make sure that they have the answers that they need to make those decisions. Yeah, that, that's really important. And again, opportunities for people across the state but for those uh, who, who are watching Central Mass based company uh, that uh, is providing really important service and increasingly important service to, to residents across the Commonwealth. So Deb Davio, who is the Vice President of Medicare and the Executive Director of the organization's Navicare program, thanks for being with us and thanks for all that Fallon Health does in the region. Thank you so much for having me and I'd love to come back. Yeah, well, absolutely. And we're gonna come right back for our next segment in just a moment. Stay with us on this edition of Chamber Exchange, the TV show. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown, unlock your potential. Being associated with the Railers and being a part has been awesome. And it's been a lot of fun. I think my students' initial reactions is my favorite part. Uh, they, their eyes get really wide and they're in awe. And then you have the excitement of hockey and you have that anticipation in the air. You know, the crowd getting into it, it's, it's fun. 